Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun tutorial about motion. So, today let's look at turning yourself into a 3D character. So, what shall I say? Another AI tool came out and I think it's fair to say that this, well, blew our minds. When it was announced, it said that you could replace an actor with a CG character. And all you need to do for that is, well, nothing. So the AI will do a clean plate, a camera track, then some rotomation. Hey, and for all of you who don't know what that is, so rotomation is a technique of animating a 3D element on top of the tracked motion picture footage, frame by frame, to match an actor or an object in a live action plate. Yes, it does that. And last but not least, it combines everything back and, well, does compositing as well. Setting up a light, matching colors, depth of field, and not to mention that it also renders the 3D character and the final version. So, remember what you have to do for this? <laughs> Nothing. Well, not quite true. You have to click a button. Well, actually, yes, you got me. You have to click a few times more. I hope you are excited to take a look on how to get this done today. So, let's open up the beta version of Wonder Dynamics and get one of those shots done. In here, let's click on create new project and also click on continue. Now we drag in our footage, so no click here. Next, without any additional click, let's drag it onto our timeline and, well, click next and scan frame for actors. And this will mark each person in a shot, even if there's more than one, because you could also add multiple CG characters to just one shot. And all you need to do for that now is to drag and drop one of the pre-made characters onto the marked actor. Hey, and by the way, you can click on each of them to get a small preview and also see a list of some of their settings and capabilities, such as facial performance tracking. But hey, that click doesn't count, that's optional. So, as I already said, just drag one onto your actor. And by the way, if you would not only have one shot, but a whole shot sequence with many shots, Wonder Dynamics is able to find the actors throughout the sequence and automatically apply the matching ones to each shot. Boom! Now, let's click again on next. And that will open up a screen where you can define our render settings. And yes, you could render in 4K if you wish. So, let's export everything that is available at the moment. Mo capture, clean plate, alpha masks, hey, and a blender scene. And for a last time, click on start processing. Now, this just takes some time depending on your shot, but you don't have to wait. You can directly start a new project or simply do something else and open up the web page later and check for your results. So, here I have everything downloaded and opened up After Effects. At first, of course, we have our final result. Hey, but we also have the clean plate and a mat for ourselves, which is super helpful for well, two things. First, if you want to do any type of vanishing or appearing effect, because we want to start and end clean with a clean plate. Hey, and of course, it is super powerful if we will later on get a file that only holds the final rendered character, the character pass, which will be available soon in Wonder Dynamics. So, you have all freedom you need for compositing and adjustments later on. Hey, but wait, it says soon, but we can already have the character pass because we have the Blender scene. So, when we open up Blender and our scene, hey, here we go. We could simply render that out, make adjustments to the settings, lights, materials, everything. And if you want to use your own character, hey, you can. You can also get the motion capturing data as an FBX to play with. So I would call this a seven clicks to success plan. Hey, and if you want to learn more about this crazy new AI world, leave me a comment and consider subscribing. Just one. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun clicking around in Wonder Dynamics. <laughs>